Hi guys, my name is Sharita, and I'm here to talk about pivotal information that just recently happened in a positive way. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the breakup between Damo and Chrissy. I'm also going to be talking about Blake Griffin and how much he pays in child support. And I'm also going to be talking about Cameron Terrell, the kid who was acquitted of a gang drive-by shooting. So let's go ahead and get started. The first topic at hand is going to be about Damo and Chrissy. If you guys do not know who they are, they were a very, very well-known couple on YouTube. They had two channels together. They had a main channel, they had a vlog channel, they each had their own individual channels. But a lot of people knew them as a couple. They learned to love them as a couple. Damo even went through IVF and became pregnant. Her and Chrissy had a baby boy, Dominic, together. And now they are breaking up. A lot of people do not believe the fact that they are really, really breaking up because they tend to clickbait a lot of their videos saying, we broke up or I cheated on her, or this, that, and the other, and then at the end of the video, it's always like, ha ha, we got you, and whatever. They seem to be a very fun, loving couple, but then, of course, you have those people that are doubting them. Was this a serious relationship? Were they doing it for the clout? Did Damo get pregnant just because for the views? There are a lot of things that you know people are trying to figure out but as of now, they have both said they came on camera, they did this like 30 minute video and they talked about how they are for real breaking up. I mean, Chrissy was in tears the entire video and they talked about how they are going to be splitting custody of Dominic. Chrissy, she's already signed a lease on a new place that includes a room for Dominic. Um, Damo didn't really say much about her new place. All she really said was a little bit after Chrissy leaves, I'm going to be leaving as well. Now, of course, there's a lot of conspiracies that are floating around there. You know, a lot of people are saying that this breakup isn't going to last very long. There's people saying that Damo is going to jump right into a new relationship because of what happened in her past with her ex-girlfriend and then how she got with Chrissy. Not, I don't want to say right away, but pretty fast after her last breakup. Um, the, the video that they put together, they said that it was a very amicable breakup and that they're still best friends and this, that, and the other. We know how breakups usually end up. And I'm not saying that they can't continue to be the best friends that they said that they're going to be, but they put out all this positive vibes and all this, I'm never gonna say anything messy about her and you know, this, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, so there's going to be a lot of people literally waiting for the messiness to happen within their breakup. Now, I'm not a psychic. I'm not here to tell you what is going to happen or what isn't going to happen. But just know that I'm good. My eye is out there because this breakup just seemed too perfect for it for nothing bad to end up happening. And because they live their lives on social media. Some, I mean, if something happens, I won't be surprised, but if nothing happens and if they create this, this good atmosphere for Dominic and everything remains amicable, then good for them. Like, trust me, I do not root for people to fail, but I'm also a realist. So, but basically Damo and Chrissy, like, I hope you guys go your separate ways, but are still able to co-parent and raise Dominic and just be the best parents that you guys can be and don't and just don't be petty parents can become very petty when it comes to children and custody especially when you're not going through the courts so i'm just i'm i'm speaking i heard it from a friend good luck to you guys i i'm really rooting for this positive outcome with you two so the next topic at hand is blake griffin so I'm going to read the tweet. So somebody, okay, so Freep, Freep Sports put out. Now, for some reason, when the word child support gets thrown around, men from all like walks of life come in and collectively say, well, it's not fair. The man shouldn't have to pay this much. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. 
Blake Griffin makes like $18 trillion per dribble. This $258,000 isn't doing much damage to his pocket. And I would like to say, because a lot of people are saying, well, the money's just going to go to his mom or to, you know, to the baby's mom. The, you know, the money's just going to go to the mom. The mom's just going to spend. The mom's going to splurge. What does a kid need with all this money? Well, what does a grown man need with $20 million? Like, don't, don't try to put it on the kid doesn't need this, the kid doesn't need that. Because I guarantee you, if Blake Griffin and baby mama were still together, this kid would be living the life. And I'm just going to say he because I'm not quite sure if they have a boy or girl. But... This kid would be going to the best private school that cost $58 million per semester. This kid would be going on vacations, you know, with his parents together, lavish vacations. I mean, just look at all, just look at all celebrity children that are in a relationship or that are in a two parent home. Just look at them. So because they've decided to split now say it was a, a, a you know it was a, a mutual split and even if it wasn't they decided to split either way the point is so you're telling me that this kid deserves to live the life that his mother can only give him because his mom and dad couldn't make it work together like that just doesn't make sense in my head and so on twitter you know i was going back and forth with these people because this um, one guy was like, how do you need $258,000 a month to support a child? And I said, it's based off income. Nobody needs that much. And then people were saying, well, you know, Blake, you know, the, he's at the top of his game right now. So in a couple, couple of years, he's not going to be able to afford that. Well, the court system has this thing where they reevaluate and then they they go back and they say, okay, well, you're only making this much, so we're only gonna make you pay this much. Like, it's really not that hard to like figure out. And I'm still just so confused on like, why men are concerned with what's happening to other men. I, I don't get it, I'm just so confused. And then this one tweet that's actually kind of going viral, I think it was on like World Star or Shade Room or something like that. And I will, I'll put it here. It says, Blake Griffin also makes about 2.8 million a month. 258,000 is 9% of his income. Using this formula, if he was making 50,000 a year, his child support would be $375 a month. Y'all are safe. And then of course, somebody gonna come in and say 9% of 50,000 is 4,500. And he said, <laughs> he said, and just what is for? <laughs> okay. Okay, he said, <laughs> he said, <laughs> oh my God, why is it so funny to me? Okay, <sighs> and he said, and just what is 4,500 divided by 12, Pythagoras? wrong with people like I do not like people I can't stand people can't stand the internet I can't stand Twitter <sighs> so anyways I do understand why people get upset because they think that women are gold diggers and you know but we don't even know what this lady is plans on doing with this money like everybody keeps saying this child doesn't need all of that money okay they may not need it now, but how do we know that this mom isn't going to invest in this, you know, invest this money? How do we know this mother isn't going to save money so that her child can go to college without school loans? Or how do we know that this mother isn't going to save up so when this child gets the first car, they can buy it without having a car payment? Like, it, money isn't always just for spending. And I get where... Some men are frustrated because we don't know, there's no like secure way to, to know like where these mothers are spending 
you know, are spending this money. They could be spending it on themselves. And that's on the mom. Karma will come back. Whatever. But people are getting so bent out of shape without knowing, like, all of the... Without knowing anything, they're just like, that kid doesn't need that money. But I bet you, if your daddy was LeBron James and stepped out on your mom, you'd be asking for all the money in the world. How about that? One more thing. Because when I go, like, when I get on Twitter, it's so bad. Like, I go down these rabbit holes and I just laugh. But <clears throat> this, so somebody responded to Freep Sports and said, LOL. I really wonder when there will be cases of millionaire women who don't have majority custody who are paying this a month to substantiate their kid. Well, I don't have to wonder because it won't happen. And then, of course, here comes Twitter. Halle Berry? Question mark. Sherry Shepard? Question mark. It happens. And then, of course, Ron William was like, LOL, obviously I should have created clarity. The implication in my post was that it won't ever happen as oft as it does to men, just to clear things up. And somebody said, you were clear before, just wrong, and were corrected. And somebody else said, and then somebody else was like, loud and wrong. Like, there was nothing that needed clarity in that whole, in that whole thread. But anyways, that's besides the point. So anyways, let me know how you guys feel about money that's not yours. <laughs> and about Blake having to pay this amount of money to his uh, baby mama. Okay, now the last story that I wanna talk about is Cameron Terrell, and I'm gonna read this to you. Meet Cameron Terrell, 18-year-old wealthy white male who left his million-dollar neighborhood and $2 million home to join a Crip gang in South LA. He drove himself and two other gang members in his father's luxury Mercedes-Benz to a rival gang territory to do a drive-by. After spotting a young black male, Justin Holmes, standing outside, Cameron and his two new gang buddies decided to kill him. Cameron is not in jail like the other two young black males who committed this crime with him. Cameron was acquitted because they said he was just fascinated with gang life. He read books on gang life and wanted to see what it was all about. So I guess the young black male that he helped kill was just a casualty of his research. Y'all better wake the F up. I don't even know where to begin. He was fascinated with gang life. Yo, I'm fascinated with money. So look, who's with me to go rob a bank? But I need to be acquitted because look, I was just fascinated with money. And th this is just to see what it's about. You know, I'm trying to see what it's like to have all this money. So I'm gonna go rob a bank because I'm fascinated with money. I think what's really frustrating is that they charged him with things that they knew he couldn't be guilty of. Not only does he have his white privilege, but he's got his rich privilege. How come Cameron didn't use his really, really good lawyer who happens to be black? How come he didn't use them or use him to help, you know, his gang homies out? So now you've got this, I mean, it's, you've got the same thing going on. You've got this white boy who still gets to live his life even though he was doing the same thing that these black men were doing. The same thing. I mean, there's pictures of him throwing up the gang signs, wearing the colors. He gets to go to college. Like, he is in He gets to go to college this semester. While the other two, while the other two boys are, you know, are sitting in prison. Which they should be. Don't, now don't come into my comments talking about... Well, are you saying that the other two should be free? No, what I'm saying is Cameron needs to be sitting right there with them. That's all I'm saying. So let me know if you guys think that this is a, a race thing, a wealth thing. Let me know what you guys think because personally, I just think it's complete BS. So anyways, I believe that is it for today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. This is a brand new channel for me. And I plan on uploading every single day in the month of August. Day two in the books. And don't forget, be the change that you want to see in the world. Bye.